Myanmar is emerging from decades of economic and political isolation and has been undergoing a rapid political transition since 2012. Over the past four years, the country's economy has been steadily opening up to market forces and is transforming from an agricultural-based to an industry and service-oriented economy. However, agriculture remains critical to the livelihoods of rural people and for the overall reduction of poverty and food insecurity. Okay. <laughs> the Food and Agriculture Organization and the government of Myanmar share a long history of cooperation and in 2016, FAO conducted an evaluation of its work in the country. The evaluation was launched at the end of FAO country programming cycle and was meant to inform through recommendations the planning and programming of future FAO interventions in Myanmar. So the evaluation was a highly participatory process involving a range of uh, consultation with different stakeholders and beneficiaries. Altogether, we counted that uh, we consulted and listened to more than 800 among stakeholders and beneficiaries. We also used three different case studies to inform the evaluation. FAO has contributed to Myanmar's national transition, providing assistance in terms of both emergency responses and development activities. The evaluation analyzed the results, outcomes, and potential impacts. Over the last 10 years, uh, FAO in, uh, in Myanmar has been concentrated mainly on the implementation of uh, emergencies. Uh, caused by natural disasters. More recently, we started to implement also activities that are not exclusively dealing with uh, the natural disasters. Uh, Myanmar suffers from recurrent floods. We thought that given the hazard context of the country, it's about time to explore more innovative ways of doing things, especially to address challenges related to lack of uh, geographic uh, information. The data gathered from drones will also be very useful for medium-term and long-term planning. We are also combining this kind of aerospatial assessment with uh, ground assessment to investigate the food security condition of the people that has been affected by the disasters. We are working on improved planning and programming by designing uh, uh, resilience uh, action plans and we started with, uh, with Rakhine. Uh, we have been using the case, the case study that was conducted in, in Rakhine in June. We have been using particularly the recommendation on the selection of the, of the beneficiaries for being more inclusive and more participatory in our uh, selection exercises. Myanmar suffered its first outbreak of the highly pathogenic avian influenza in 2006, followed by an average of one outbreak annually until 2013. To support the country, FAO provided assistance through its Emergency Center for Transboundary Animal Diseases, or ECTAD. The center also assisted in building the capacity of the Livestock Breeding and Veterinary Department including the establishment of a national contingency plan for disease control. The capacity development activities of this center were found to have strong individual, institutional, and enabling environment dimensions. This was evident in the partnership with the Myanmar government, especially in the control and surveillance of transboundary animal disease, such as the highly pathogenic avian influenza. Myanmar 
ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้
uh, private sector companies uh, in the forestry sector, particularly working in bamboo and rattan uh, handicrafts and other forest products so that they can uh, add value to the market chain of the products that are coming out from the community forests. Uh, it's also supported work to ensure that if any timber is harvested from the community forests, it's recognised uh, as being uh, legal timber once it en enters the su supply chain. So if it eventually becomes made into furniture that, for example, is exported to Europe or anything else, it will be approved as, as legal timber. <laughs> ตัวจุนโดตะบาวะโตเทนิจิเชียอาเปนตะบาวะมุ้ยจิเนเตียนซาดาจุงดีมู่กาวเกวะเนเนเนเลดิจองนอบิโรมาจันโนโรยาดี
for inviting organizations such as the World Food Programme to be a member of the consultative group for this evaluation. And we participated throughout the process since last year, culminating today in the debrief. I'm uh, impressed that FAO has organized this evaluation. I think I'm also impressed that it's uh, a multidisciplinary, multi-sector evaluation. And there, there has been a good degree of consultation and I think it's a, a very good model. I'm not sure if this is used across FAO, but it's a very good model to be using. Monitoring and evaluation is needed a lot for our country. Before this year, or so this time, we don't have like that for evaluation case. We cannot face it, or we cannot meet for evaluation until now. This time, we have to face with, we have to discover the evaluation team for our Myanmar. Among the preliminary recommendations, the evaluation suggests that FAO should organize its future interventions into a programmatic approach, develop a resilience program for Myanmar, continue the work on transboundary animal diseases and food safety, among others, under the One Health Regional Initiative, support the formulation of a national food safety policy, integrate gender in future programming and develop a capacity development strategy to empower target beneficiaries and create the enabling environment for long-term change.